What's going on guys, it's Gray here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another way to be doing the most insane money glitch in Need for Speed Heat. So if you guys could do me a quick favor, leave a like on this video and we're going to hop right into this. So a bunch of people have been saying that the last one is patched, which doesn't even make sense because this game's been updated one time. So like how would they even patch it? But that's besides the point, okay? I'm going to be showing you guys another way to be doing this money glitch. And it is super, super easy to do. So we're going to hop into it now. The first step is go into a solo session like you saw me do right there. I don't know why, but on the last video, people were going into an online session when I literally said the first step is solo session. So go into a solo session to start off for the first step of the glitch. That's literally all you got to do. Just start solo. If you go into online, it's not going to work. It's going to kick you from the session. So as long as you guys follow every single step in this tutorial, this will work for you. You have to make sure you follow every single step. Otherwise, it will not work, okay? You have to watch the entire video so you get every single step. Because if you miss a step or do something wrong, it will not work and the money won't be saved to your account. So you have to do every single step of the tutorial throughout the entire video and get it down perfectly like I show you and will explain to you guys that way it'll work because there are steps at the end of the video as well in order to save the money to your account otherwise you're just going to waste your time so with that said please guys do me a favor just watch the entire video listen to every single step that i show you and it'll work perfectly as you guys can see i have 1.2 billion in the game obviously you don't need that much money but i'm showing you guys how much money you can really make from this you can make how much money you want but this is proof that it does work so with that said the first step is you need to go and turn your internet off okay so on xbox just copy what i do pc disconnect your internet go into airplane mode or just turn off the wi-fi and then ps4 bring up your like menu and then just uncheck the connected internet box i think you just got to double tap your playstation button and then it'll go off but all you want to do is click go offline or uncheck that box or turn it off on pc Wait five seconds, then click go back online, okay? Once you guys have done that, you can just go back over to your game, and then you should get this connection lost message. You just want to sit here for like five seconds just to let the game kind of register what just happened. After that, you're going to hit OK, and then you can just go and fast travel over to the dealership. So, so far, super easy. Everybody should be on the same page with this. Just get over to the dealership, and we are going to start off. Now, like I said in the beginning, you have to follow every single step. But this part is the only different part, okay? So, if you do not have as much money as I do in the game, because most of you won't, you can do this with cheaper cars. It doesn't have to be the most expensive car. However, you should use the most expensive car you can buy because that will net you the most money in return, okay? So, when we are doing this, you need to make sure you use the most expensive car. But I saw a lot of people talking about it in the comments because there is some timing with this glitch. Instead, what you could do is you can practice with cheaper cars. So you could do it with this first car here, the Beetle. You could do it with this car, practice it with this car, and then once you get the timing down, then once you restart the glitch, and I'll tell you guys how to rinse and repeat at the end. Once you complete the glitch, you can go and do it again with more expensive cars after you've practiced with the cheaper cars. That way you don't lose money if you messed it up. With that said, I'm going to go get the most expensive car that I can purchase because why not? We're trying to make money here, so we're making the most money we possibly can. I'm going to go get, I think it's the McLaren P1 GTR because I can't use the FXXK in offline. Let's see. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to be using this car. Now, also people were asking me how to do this. So it's really simple. You hit A on the car, you hit yes, and then it asks you to use car or send to garage, just hit B. That's all you do. Double tap A, B. Double tap A, B. Double tap X circle that's all you got to do okay now you guys want to get as many cars as you can with your entire bank account that will ensure that you get the most money out of this because we are doing a frozen money glitch which means you should not be losing any money if you complete this properly so i'm going to actually just fast forward or just cut from me purchasing all these cars because in order for me to show you guys proof i need to make a hundred million so that my 1.2 billion turns into 1.3 it's now 1.1 but i need to turn that 1.2 into 1.3 so you guys see the proof because somehow people still think that it's a scam or 
it's fake or whatever. So I'll see you guys in just a second after I finish purchasing all of my cars. Okay guys, so I've spent about 200 million purchasing cars. As you can see in the top right hand corner, I no longer have over a billion. So what that means is I should be making profit from this now and proving to you guys that this does work so that you can see the numbers actually change in the top right hand corner. So with that said, before I continue, PC players, when you go to purchase a car and you were asking me how to like purchase them fast like I did with the double tap A and B or PlayStation double tap X circle, look, when you click yes on the car, in the bottom left hand corner it says select or back. Whatever key that pops up for the back part, that's what you're going to hit and then it'll send you right back to this, okay? With that said, we are now going to leave the dealership and this is the most important part of the glitch tutorial. So listen up, everybody stop what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing while watching the video, but listen to this part because if you don't get this part right, it's not going to work okay you have to follow every single step that I lay out for you perfectly otherwise it will not work okay you have to follow every single step with that said I'm going to give you guys some tips on what exactly you need to do for this because this is the part that people were getting issues with okay so the first tip is try to get as many cars as you can while like purchasing cars because I guess this makes it a little bit slower to load and then that will actually work better for you so make sure that you guys try to purchase your entire bank account worth of cars and it should work better or if you do not have that much money in your bank account then go purchase as many like lesser cars like the cheaper ones go purchase as many of those to do the glitch with that way you can try to get more cars and make this a little bit slower to load so what we're going to do is connect back to online and quit our game at the exact same time. So for Xbox, you're just going to copy exactly what you see me do on my screen and it will work for you. For PC, um, I think you need to have your task manager or whatever, like, I don't, I don't know. But how you would close a game on PC, you're just gonna do the same thing. And for uh, PlayStation, this menu on the left should pop up. I don't know what it's called, but you know, it, the like first thing should say, close application that's what you're gonna use in order to do this okay so what you guys are going to do is select the go online in the right corner right here this one that I'm selecting you're gonna click go online in the game because our internet as you guys saw from before this is different than the last time our internet is already on see it says go offline which means I am already online so we're going to click go online in the game and when the white bars pop up on our screen saying that it's loading you are going to wait, and the second that you see the white bars start to turn blue, that is when you are going to uh, get out of your game. Quit your game, close the application, whatever you have to do, get out of that game, okay? So, we're going to do it, but I'm going to explain it one last time because, again, this is the most important part of the glitch, and this is where the most people were getting trouble with it. So, like I said before, practice with a cheap car first, maybe, so you could get the timing down for you and then you can do this, okay? So I'm going to hit go online, wait for the white bars to pop up. Once the white bars pop up, as soon as they turn blue, quit my game. So go online, connecting to EA, establishing connection, waiting for it, wait for the white bars. Once the white bars pop up and they're blue, oh, I fucked up. Okay, see look, you don't even have to be fast. I totally messed that up and I still did it before the blue bars went up. Now, that might be because I did purchase a good amount of cars and it does take a little bit longer to load, but you just saw me mess up the timing, okay? And I'm like 99% sure this is still going to work. I messed up the timing, but you just have to quit your game while the blue is loading up. You can't let the blue fully load up on the white bars, okay? So you guys saw my timing there. It was terrible, but it's still going to work as long as you quit your game before the blue gets to the edge of the white bars okay so before we go back into need for speed this is where the glitch is different we are going to go into our settings go back to network settings and then click go offline again 
wait for this to finish loading, and then you're going to go back into Need for Speed Heat and load it up. So this should fix any problems that people were having with getting an error code loading up their game again after we did the glitch. So we're just going to let this load up, and again, the only times I'm cutting in this video is when I was purchasing, and now I'm going to be selling cars. That way you guys don't have to sit through that and just watch it because it did take me a little bit longer. But I'm trying to make this video shorter. However, no matter what I do, people are still going to come yell at me saying it's fake and it's, you know, a scam or whatever. But those people just, I don't know, they can't get it or something because I don't upload anything fake on my channel at all. Everything I post is 100% legit. So if you guys are into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on to all. I would really appreciate it. Also, if this video helps you out at any point in time or help you get money, please do me a favor and leave a like. It really goes a long way. So when you guys are loading your game up, it should freeze a little bit like you saw mine do there. But now that it is back, it's just going to take some time to load up. Because again, we are glitching the game. It is breaking the game, but it's okay. Just let it load. It'll be fine. Now you're going to get this attention error message, okay? So don't freak out if you get this. This is what I got. It's the exact same thing that you're going to get, okay? You're going to click OK on it and let it load. As you guys can see in the top right-hand corner of your screen, I have my 1.2 billion back. Before I quit my game, I had 900 and something million, but it was not a billion, okay? So now that it says 1.2 billion, we are going to click go online in the game. But in order to do that, you got to go back to your settings, go to network settings, click go online, wait for this to load for like five seconds, just making sure everything's okay. Once you go back to the game, you're going to click go online and it should just connect to EA, establish a connection and your white bar is going to fill up blue again. If everything has been done correctly, it should just check your inventory, load up, and then you'll be able to go into online. So we're just going to let this load here. It will take a little bit of time because, again, I did do a lot of cars just so that I could prove to you guys that it's, it works. Because, I mean, honestly, I would want to see proof too when I'm watching a glitch video, so that's why I'm doing it for you guys. I should be ending with 1.3 maybe even 1.4 billion depending on how much i really did i kind of lost track when i was buying the cars but i'm here to show you guys proof i'm just here to help you guys out make money in the game because i know some of us don't have a lot of time to actually play and grind out games do races earn money legit it just takes too long when you know you got school or a full-time job anything you got kids whatever some of us want to make money fast so that we can enjoy the game how we want to play it because in the end the game is for our entertainment for us to have fun and if this is why you guys or this is how you get want to have fun in the game then you should be be allowed to do it so it's almost done loading and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do next again please do not click off the video because there are more steps to complete otherwise it will not work okay so as you guys can see now in the top right hand corner I still have my money I am now connected to online and now I'm going to play online I'm not sure that I mentioned this in the beginning, so I'm going to say it now, even though if you made it this far, you already know, but you guys need Xbox Live or PS Plus in order to do this because you have to play online. There are no glitches like this for solo yet. I am trying to find one because it is really hard to actually glitch solo because it, it, it works in offline, so it's a bit different. So I do have some offline type of glitches on my channel you guys can go check out if you're looking for offline glitches but this one does require xbox or ps plus but as you guys can see we are now loading back into the game and we haven't had any issues at all everything has been going flawlessly even the timing that i messed up as long as you guys get it before the blue bars it will work fine okay so it's just going to load us back up take a little bit of time but i'm not going to be editing this part at all if you do get this error message okay you're just going to click OK on it and then try to go back to online. So it should load you back into the lobby screen here, but that's OK. What you want to do is just let it load. It Clearly, it's frozen right now. Just let it load. Give it a second. Let the game kind of figure out what's going on, and then we can go back into online. But if you try to go back into online and it does not work, then instead we will have to go into solo. Okay, so it is starting to load up a bit. I do not have my car yet, but 
the money in the top right hand corner is gone as well and my rank is zero so if it doesn't load you can just click play online and it'll try to go again if you get the error message a second time that is when you're going to try to go into solo but you want to make sure you can try to get into online first so that is why we're going to load up again this i wanted to show you guys that it could happen to you okay so don't freak out if you get that error code like i just did it happens to me it could happen to you if for whatever reason this error code doesn't pop up for you guys then you're perfectly fine you're going to go into online and do the exact same steps that i'm going to show you but if you got the error code then you're going to try to go back into a solo session and sell all the cards that you got so i'm going to let it load up again right now the loading bar seems to be frozen so i'm not exactly sure maybe we'll get the error code maybe it'll let us in i'm not i don't know but again I'm not going to be cutting these parts of the video so that I can prove that it is 100% legit. Okay, so we did get the error code this time, which means now we have to go and load into a solo session. But again, that is perfectly fine. It could happen to you guys too, so don't freak out about it. I just want to show the full process of it without any cuts so that you guys see that it is real, it is legit, you don't need to worry about anything at all. So. I'm just gonna let this load like I did last time. If I just pull up my menu right here and go back to it, it might help it a little bit, but it does take some time for this to actually just kind of load up. Now your car will not spawn in. It's just like, look, the, the car doesn't spawn in, but that's fine. Just click go play solo and then you should be golden. Go on to the same exact steps that I'm going to show you. So if you get the error code, go into solo. If you don't get the error code and you're in an online session right now, I will show you exactly what you need to do in order to fix it or just do the next part of the glitch, not fix it. I misspoke there. What to do next for the next steps of the glitch. But again, not going to be editing any loading screens at all. And I apologize that this does drag on a little bit, but there are people there that are gonna go in the comments, say that it's fake, and then other people see that somebody said it's fake, so then they don't go and try it. So I'm not editing any of the loading screens. That way there's no, like, you can't say I, I faked it. It's not a scam. Like, this is the entire footage. There's no there's no fake footage, there's no cuts, there's nothing like that. So you gotta just, don't even listen to the trolls in the comments. If they say it's fake and it doesn't work, then they just messed it up and they didn't get the timing down. And then, you know, they're all butthurt about it because they couldn't do it. But if you guys just follow every single step that I laid out for you guys, did everything the exact way that I did, you should be perfectly fine. Nothing should go wrong at all, and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do now to save the money to your account and make sure that you can go back online and continue playing the game. So, I'm just going to let this load. It should almost be done. It's going very slow, but, you know, like, once it gets towards, like, the tire right in front of us, like, at the, the back tire, then it kind of just speeds up and then finishes. So, we're just going to let it load. There we go. So now once you load back up into a solo session, what you're going to do next is sell your cars, okay? So I have the 1.2 billion and in my inventory, I think I had 97, eight, something like that. I have a lot, okay? As you guys can see, I have a ton of these cars, okay? So what you guys want to do, sell, all of them. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do in order to sell cars. So go over to your showcase, swap the car, and then go and sell it. So swapping this car in, you click go sell, that's how you sell a car, okay? So now I'm just going to go and completely sell all of the cars that I have in this entire, in my entire inventory, go sell every single one. This will take you guys some time, so I apologize for that, but you can go and sell all of these cars. So I'm gonna see you guys in just a second once I am done selling all of these cars. Again, I think I had like, I wanna say like 96 to 98 cars in the beginning, but once I once I polish this video off and just kinda of cut this part out, I will put it on the screen how many cars I actually had in the beginning. But you could also go back and check at the beginning of the video if you wanted to, that way you could see exactly how many cars I had, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen like right now. So I'm gonna see you guys in just a second once I'm done selling all of my cars. 
that is exactly what you guys are going to do right now. So once you get into your solo session or online, depending on what your game let you do, if you got the error code, go into a solo session like me. If you didn't, go into an online session. From there, it is the same exact steps. You're just going to go into your inventory and sell all of the cars, okay? So I will see you guys in just a second. Okay guys, so I went back into the footage and saw that I had 97 cars to start off with. As you guys can see in the top right hand corner of your screen, I have 1.3 billion at the moment and I am just finishing up the cars that I have to complete selling. So again, this is very important. You guys have to make sure you sell every single car that you purchased with the glitch, okay? So I would highly recommend that when you are doing this, you purchase the same type of car. That way you know what car you're looking for. So again, use the most expensive car, which is the one you see me using as well, because that's how you're going to make the most money possible. But again, you can do this with any car. So just, I highly recommend that you use the same exact car. That way, you know, it doesn't get lost in your entire library of cars and you know exactly which one you need to sell in order to completely finish all of the cars. But as you guys can see already that I have increased my money and some people were saying that like they didn't comprehend what the glitch was like they didn't get it they're like i don't get it you're just buying and selling cars but guys you buy cars for 2.1 something and you sell the car for 1.3 there's no possible way you can go buy cars and sell them and make money that's just not how it works so clearly it's a money glitch okay you buy the cars with your frozen money because your money stays the exact same when you do this, then you go and sell the cars and that is how your money increases. Like you see in the top right hand corner of your screen, I now have 1.3 billion. When I started, I had 1.2. When I finished buying the cars, I had 900 something million. So that is just more proof that this does work. It's not fake, it's not a scam, anything like that. I just wanna put that out there, make it very clear for everybody so that everybody can understand this fully and be able to do this, take full advantage themselves. That way you can make as much money as you want in the game for whatever reason you would like to have the money for. So with that said, this is going to be my second to last car right now and it does take a little bit of time. If you have a lot of cars like I do, you just go through the entire list, but you wanna make sure that you sell all of the cars that you got with the glitch, but don't sell any of your personal cars, okay? so. I have one last car to sell, but before I sell that last one, you guys need to see this, okay? This car I have here, even though it shows up as one of the cars I was buying, this one is a personal one, okay? This is a car that I already had. Don't sell any of your regular cars you'll because you're just going to lose them, okay? Sell all the cars that you got with the glitch, and this is the final car I'm using to sell for the glitch. Now. I, if you go into my garage, I no longer have any more duplicate copies and my cars are now back at 97, which I started with at the beginning of this video. So as you guys can see, I no longer have any P1 GTRs inside my entire inventory except for this one, which is already customized here. And you can see that we are completely done. So once you guys have gotten rid of all of your cars that you bought with the glitch, you are now going to quit out your game once again so just completely quit we were in a solo session because we did get an error code to go into online now once you guys quit your game you're going to go back into need for speed heat and load into online if you have done everything correctly so far nothing will happen i need to mute my game because it's going to claim me hold on my bad okay just had to do that really quickly because this song that you would hear right now gets my videos claimed so once you guys quit your game, you're just going to load Need for Speed back up. It shouldn't take too long to load. Everything should be fine at this point. If it freezes at this point or any time in the loading stream, it's fine. That's normal. It happened to me right here. So just let it load. It doesn't take that long. It shouldn't have any audio after it freezes. That's just a little glitch that happens in the game. But that's fine. We're just going to go once it loads up fully you're going to go into a online session to make sure that everything worked perfectly. Now, please do me a favor guys, do not click off yet because I'm going to show you guys how to rinse and repeat this glitch. But as you guys can see in the top right hand corner, I have my 1.3 billion and now I'm going to load into online to obviously go play online. Show you guys that this works, it is 100% legit. This is the proof my money increased while doing this glitch. 
So you can't tell me it's fake that I'm just buying cars and selling cars. That doesn't even make sense. My money increased while doing this. The only times that I edited out anything was when I was buying all of the cars I needed and selling all of the cars I needed. Other than that, you guys have seen every loading screen, everything else that I have done. I just skipped over those parts because for me, it took me like 10, 15 minutes both times. So I don't want you guys to just sit there. This would be an hour long video. I try to make this as short as possible, but at the same time, make it so that you guys understand everything that's happening. That way nobody messes up. Every, everybody gets it perfectly down. So I apologize that this was a little bit longer of a video, but again, I want to make it very clear so that everybody's on the same page. It works for everybody. That way we all can enjoy this without any mess ups or anything like that. So as you guys can see, the loading bar is still going up. Now I can actually turn my audio back on, but we are loading into an online session. Once you guys get into that online session, you are chilling, bro. You are going to have all the money that you glitched. You're going to have no cars that you glitched because you sold all of them. You're going to have your money and you're free to do whatever you want. So you can see right there, I did just get into an online session. Wait for everything to load just to be safe. But boom, I have 1.3 billion in the game. Now I can go outside into the daytime and do whatever I want. You guys are in an online session. Go flex on your friends. Go buy cars, customize cars. But now I'm going to show you guys how to reset the glitch so that you can go do it again and make more money. So if you guys didn't, like have a, a lot of money to start off with you do the glitch once and make some money then re repeat the process and i'll show you exactly what to do then you can go do it again and make even more money but really quickly i just want to prove we are in a online session there is a homie right here on the map I don't, where is he there he is what's up guy he left <laughs> what <laughs> All right, that's besides the point though. You guys saw I was in an online session. There's another guy over here. There's probably other people somewhere. There you go, look, there's another guy. So I'm in an online session. I have the 1.3 billion. This is 100% proof that this does work. This is 100% legit. This is not fake, it's not a scam, anything like that. I really don't like you guys that say it is because I work really hard to make these videos and just get yelled at when you can't do it. So if you didn't do it, then watch the video again, figure out the timing. You guys saw me mess up the timing and it still worked for me. So with that said, in order to do this glitch again, you guys are going to quit your game. Just completely restart the game. So again, just, oh, nothing. Just quit the game. And then once you quit the game and load it back up, start the video over and you are doing every single step from the beginning, okay? So once you guys reset the game, it is the exact same steps from the start of the video and you guys are just going to complete this again. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and leave a like. The likes really help me out. You guys don't even understand how much likes really mean. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If this video helped you out, guys, again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure that bell notification is turned on to all. Check out the videos you see on your screen right now and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.